Hello Summoners, welcome to Main Deck Masters. My name is Jacob and today we are going to be rating every card from Aquatic Invaders out of five stars. This is going to include every card from the set, all of the blue structure deck cards, plus the promos that have been revealed. And I'm going to go ahead and go over the lore set as well because they're right here on the front page of each color. Before we jump into it, make sure to like and subscribe and let us know in the comments if you agree with these ratings. So we start off with red. And our first spirit is Ancient Guardian Trident Dragon. Uh, it has Awaken. You can add cores to it from the trash for each Ruby Sanctuary you control. And you can Seagworm Nova anything of 6,000 or fewer BP. This card is interesting. It's I think it's a pretty good card. I don't think it's anything crazy. I'm going to give it three and a half stars. Next card is Water Dragon King Livia. It can destroy Nexuses when Awaken reduces your opponent's life, which is kind of nice. It gives your red spirits extra BP. I'm not a fan of its stat line. You need five cores to get it out of that like burning force range or anything like that. Two stars. Battle Axe Apollodinos, five cost, two reduction. Already don't like that. It does have Awaken and if it has a soul core on it, destroy all of your opponent's spirits with BP equal to the spirit's BP. This is an interesting card because you can change its BP with other things, with stuff like Scorched Battlefield or Volcanic Canyon or the four drop that we just showed. So I like this much more than the other ones. Is it going to be relevant? I'm not quite sure. I'm going to give it three stars. The Pilgrim, none of the Pilgrims are good. This one isn't good. Unfortunately, I wish they were better, but one star. Dragno Scout, it's a vanilla. It has a crap stat line. One star. Colmane, interesting card. Will it work in some sort of archetype? I don't know. Maybe hyper aggro where you throw down your hand. Not too sure about this card. I haven't tested with it. I'm going to give it three stars. Lampgar, Moo Boy, one star. This current cards, we don't really want to do that one star. Flame Plume Beak, it's a vanilla with not a super good stat line. It does have decent reduction. Uh, vanilla out of five. The Hollow Beast, it, I mean, I like 8,000 for four cores, but we're already going to throw that in the Pterosaur or Emperor Beast package. We already have better stuff. Vanilla out of five. Dark Worm is interesting. I like this card. I wish it had kind of a better ability its stat line is decent for a star dragon and giving everything 3000 bp and confront is pretty decent you can combo off with this uh is it better than trident dragon though i don't think so but i'm gonna give it three and a half stars tornadra six cost five reduction with a decent stat line if that level three was better because 5,000, 9,000, 10,000, why would you want to do this? But like, you're not going to play this. As a Star Dragon, you're not going to play this. It's better than the rest of the vanillas, so I'm going to give it one star instead of vanilla. So, Megalosaur, five cost, three reduction, which is decent. You'll never need this first ability, honestly. And it has confront with a bad stat line. One star. Saber Callus. It gives your confront stuff extra power. It has a decent stat line as a pterosaur, but are you going to run it in a pterosaur package? Probably not. Two stars. Camellia Whip now. This is an interesting card. It cannot block, but when it's exhausted, your opponent can't reduce your life with spirits that have fewer BP than this, and it has 5,000 for three as a two drop, which is pretty dang good. And you can buff it with other things. I'm not sure how you buff it during your opponent's attack set. Maybe like charge or draw or something. Add power to it. This is a really good card. I'm going to give it four stars. Scartooth. Uh, it's a free spirit, but its stat line is crap. Vanilla out of five. Basiliax. Uh, vanilla out of five. I mean, it's got a decent stat line, but like it's going to cost two. Uh, vanilla out of five. Six Aegis Emperor Kai. K, Kai, whatever. Um, This card is interesting for a full rainbow deck, a spirit rainbow deck. It's level three ability kind of is not relevant. I don't think it's good right now, but it could become good later. For now, I'm going to give it, for its effect, 
it's interesting effect. I'm sure somebody's going to make a decent build out of this. I'm going to give it two stars. Yeah, two stars. I think this is our last one. Heroic Worm Lord Dragon has confront if you have a burst card. And at level three, which is 11,000 for five cores, and it only costs four to get it out. When your opponent activates a burst card that does not share a color with any of the symbols on their field, place one core from their life into their reserve. For the most part, this says, hey, your ice shield does not heal you or anything like that, but it's only while the spirit attacks, not during your attack step. It's going to be harder to do it than other ones, but it's an interesting card. I'll give it two and a half. I like where they're going with this, but it's just not... It's just not going to work, honestly. I don't think so. Two and a half stars. Now let's move on to the Red Nexus. All right, so we have the Ruby Sanctuary. It's decent. I mean, it's two for two and one reduction. It is a symbol on board. Its level two ability is decent. I think it'll work with some combos and everything like that, but it costs three cores, which kind of sucks. It's a useful sanctuary, so it's probably better than the rest of them, but simply for the reduction, it's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one three stars. It's kind of middle of the pack. It's a decent one, but not anything crazy. Steaming Mountains, I don't know about this one. You, I mean, we have Scorch Battlefield and Volcanic Canyon still. Why would you need to be playing this? This is a one star Nexus. Victory Oath. In, is interesting. You and your opponent each draw two cards up in place. It can cost two. You can refresh one of your spirits when it destroys something with 3,000 fewer BP in battle. Interesting. Will it see play? Probably not. I'm going to give it one star. They're just none of these effects are any better than what we already have. Now on to the magic. So we got three magics here. We have Ritual Fire. It's burst when you lose life. Give us something that everything with the same spirit type 2,000 BP. And then Burning Force 4,000 or less in main, uh, but you can, you know, activate it as a burst. I think it's a de decent card This because a lot of people work against Burning Force. They work around Burning Force, putting things to like at least 4,000. This card can kill two 4,000 spirits, which is definitely interesting. I, I think it might see some play in, in lieu of Burning Force because people might be playing for Rural Slash more because all of the relevant Nexus here in set three cost four or less. So Ferraro Slash for their Nexus and Ritual Fire for their Spirits. I think this is a decent card. I'm going to tentatively give this a three and a half stars because it doesn't have that utility that Burning Force has to either destroy two Spirits or the Nexus, but it has Burst. And I think it's a decent card. I'm going to give it three and a half. I'm probably wrong. This card may be better, but three and a half stars. Power Boost. I mean... I don't know, one core for giving something 2,000 BP if you spend a soul core against 5,000. I really don't see this having a place in the meta. It's an interesting effect. It can definitely screw somebody over if they're not expecting it, but it's not really that good. But I've seen worse magic, so I'll give it two stars. Double Heart. This is an interesting magic card. I really like it. Select Spirit with a Soul Core on it. Treat that Spirit as having two red symbols during this turn. No, it does not give a Spirit like Arcana Joker three damage. It replaces its symbol with two red symbols. So your Arcana Joker unblockable will still do two damage. It will not do three. But it costs seven at most, four at least. It's going to be an interesting card. I see, I can see people taking one of this into their deck to try and get that aha, I got you moment, but I don't see it being super, super relevant. I could be wrong. I'm going to give this three stars. It's middle of the pack. It could be better. It could be worse. It could be really good. It could be worse than I think it is. We have to see three stars seems three stars seems applicable for this. I do believe that is all of the red stuff. So let's move on to purple. All right, so for purple, we have Ancient Castle Guardian Nocturna. I really like this spirit. She has Curse. She has Mommy Art. When she's destroyed, you remove one core from two of your opponent's spirits. If it destroys them, you place a core from the Void for each spirit destroyed by its effect. And when it attacks at level two and three, exhaust one of your Amethyst Sanctuary Nexus to select a spirit card with Curse from the trash and summon it. Pretty decent card. Overall, I really like this card for the Curse archetype with Maduke. Four stars. And we have Vampire Duke Vladiego. He has Curse, a five cost, three reduction, and level two with Nightling. It's an interesting 
card, but will it see play? I really don't think so. In the Nightling archetype, it, it'll probably be pretty cool, but I'm not too sure about this. I'm going to give it two stars. I've seen worse. I've seen a lot better, though. Costume Artist, this is a great card. Three cost, two, one reduction. Its stat line is not good, but draw power, destroying one of your spirits, procking your Impaler Force, procking your Rotting Swamp, in yellow purple, procking your Blessed Cathedral yourself, plus it has Curse. This is a really good card. I'm going to give it maybe not five stars because it's not super impressive. I'm going to give it four stars. Very good card. Right, Peel Bet, uh, three cost, two reduction. It has cursed. It has a decent stat line. It's nothing really crazy, nothing spectacular. Two stars. We, we've seen this card a thousand times. Werewolf Loop Gar, it is a vanilla. It's vanilla out of five. It has a decent stat line, though. So, you know, two stars, I guess. Haswan Falung, I think I said that right. I don't know. Viper Dragon, this is a really good card for the curse archetype, allowing you to uh, have your serpent spirits attack it in Madut Curse, this is going to be a very good card. For purple, I think this is a five-star card. 100%. Five-star card. Underworld Snakeman Bodice. Uh, decent. When it's destroyed by opponent, uh, you remove a core from each of your opponent's refresh spirits, plus it has Curse. It has a, not a great stat line, but it's an interesting card. I'll give it three stars. It could be... It's interesting, and it's a Serpent, so it works with Bodice. It works with Nocturna. It works with your Serpent stuff. Decent card. Three stars. Chaos Snake, two cost, one reduction. It is a serpent. You can draw a card if you control another serpent spirit when it's destroyed, and it has curse, and it has that 2k stat line for two. You may think this, this stat line sucks, but that 2k stat line for two means you can load up with five cores and start throwing it at your opponent's exhausted spirits, and there's not much that can guard under 2k, and this will die. It'll stay around, and you'll swing it at another exhausted spirit. This is actually much better than we may give it credit for. I'm going to give this a... I'm going to give it three stars. It's nothing spectacular, but it's a really good card. Ah, three and a half stars. Coral Snake. I don't think this card is worth it in the archetype. Since it can't block, you might as well just be playing Amethystus or Camelot Knight. This is a one-star card. It's not great. Saber Snake. It's a Vanilla Serpent, Vanilla Edithin. Skeleton Snake, Sculpion. You can exhaust opponent's spirits. You can refresh it when your opponent's spirits is summoned during the attack step. It has an okay stat line. Nothing great. It's not going to really see play uh, one star. Eternal Pilgrim. It's a pilgrim. You don't uh, you don't need its effect. It has curse at level three for six cores. It kind of sucks. One star. Bonatops. Ugh, vanilla out of five. Dark Knight Boars. Immortal cost seven. Bad stat line. Uh... I mean, for Immortal, it might be good, but Immortal costs seven. I don't know about this. I read two stars, maybe. So you might be able to find something. But Gastiger, a decent stat line, but six cores for eight. I'm not, a, I'm not happy about this. I would rather see five cores for seven. It's a spirit beast, so it doesn't do anything for any of the future current archetypes. And three reduction, vanilla added five. Both hands, five out of five card. He's going to give you both hands. I don't care what anybody says. This is a five star card. Then we have Imperador Manaka, uh, destroy one of your opponent's Void Lord Spirits. This actually might be a decent tech in versus Green Gale because of uh, Feng Wong is cracked. So for that ability itself, it's interesting. It can attack one of your opponent's Exhausted Spirits and 5,000 BP for each War Dragon or Aegis General Spirit you control. The rest of those don't, I don't think they matter too much, but killing a Void Lord, Feng Wong might be relevant. Like, Gale's probably going to be meta, but it's still not a great card. I'll give it two and a half stars. And Everation, we are too far. So that is the spirits. Let's go into Nexus. So we have the Amethyst Sanctuary. Like the other Sanctuary, it's, it's reduction. You can view the top card of your deck and discard it or return to the top of your deck for one core. Decent card. Uh, really good with Nocturna. I think its best bet is using it in conjunction with Nocturna. I don't think it's anything crazy. I'm only going to give it three stars, but it's good reduction and it works with Nocturna. Four stars. Four star Sanctuary. Uh, Palace of the Serpentine Cut. This is really interesting with Serpent Maduke. Get a card for with Curse. Return your Black Lance back to the top of your deck. And then you can, you know, when one of your Serpent Spears is destroyed, you can... 
get rid of their cores in their reserve so they can't with blood curse they can't heal back so it's interesting i like this nexus i'm gonna give it three and a half stars it's nothing crazy but it's a good nexus let's move on to magics you have soul crush here five cost three reduction so it costs two Suck on your opponent's spirits without a soul core on it. Remove two cores from it and place them into your opponent's reserve. This is core removal on a magic that does not require you to discard and does not require it to be exhausted. It's better than the last one we got. What was the last? A assassinate or Hanged Man. It's a decent card. Uh, it can cost a lot, but costing two for removing two cores in Flash, I think is pretty decent. Will it see meta play? I'm not sure, but I'll give it three stars. It's It's a good card. It's decent. Counter Curse, I understand what they're going for. Uh, if you're playing Curse, you can just destroy something when you're blocking it with a Curse Spirit, but paying three for that, is that worth it? I'm not entirely sure. Two stars, I could be wrong, but two stars. And Gathering Greens, this is a pretty decent card. For two, you can just grab any purple Spirit card from your trash and return to your hand. I mean, it's reanimate, but grab anything, but you know, not just not summon it. I like this card. I'm going to give it three and a half stars, three and a half stars. It, there's a lot of things that you can do with this card. So I like it. That's going to be purple. Let's move on to white. We have Sleepless Guardian Frost Tiger. Uh, infinite suppression on a body. If the opponent's spirit does not have a soul core on it, it gains a thousand BP when it blocks. Um, and then it has unblockable for when the spirit blocks with Diamond Sector. It's an interesting card. Will it be relevant? I mean, it's a machine beast, so it works with Newman City. I like what they're going for with this, like infinite blocking. We have not, we have yet to test this, but I think tentatively this is a three star card. It's nothing crazy, nothing special, but I think it's a three star card. It's, it's definitely worth running or at least testing out. Cure of Eagle, uh, nothing can be destroyed. It has armor white green, so it can't be dream bombed. It can't be thorn prisoned, but I don't know. Two stars, eh, two and a half. Happy bot, uh, uh, why would you play this? A vanilla, magnificent armor white green, but look at that stat line. Um, one star. Valkyrie Hilder, it's Valkyrie Miss for one more core, but you can choose anything. I like it. Uh, three, three stars, three stars. Pilgrim, Synthetic, Sage. It's a Pilgrim. Uh, I mean, I think this one's better than the other ones because it views the top five and places the Diamond Sanctuary for free. And White does struggle some a bit with card draw, especially with Depths gone. Thank you. Thanks, Bandai, for banning Depths. Um, it's better than the other pilgrims that we've seen so far. I think what I give them two stars, one star. I don't know. Two and a half, whatever. It's two stars. It's it's OK. Alder armor, red, purple. Uh, I mean. This is I don't know, like Android, it costs one as 4K for four cores, which is not great. I guess it's OK armor. No, you're not going to play this one star. Vanilla at a 10. I mean, it costs one and it's 4K for two. So white aggro might like it, but white aggro might have better units. Uh, two stars. Pingmobile Mouse, uh, summon a Mecha Spirit and place one to this. Uh, are you going to play this? Tell me, are you going to? I mean, four core for seven, but are you going to play this? You probably aren't going to play this. Uh, two stars. Njord, I do like the, what is this? Uh, Viking names. This card literally just says I summon a token when you when I play when I play against blue. I don't know. One star. I mean, for three reduction, 6k for three. It is vanilla out of 10, but why aggro is a deck. I know Floodstream exists. Shut up. Um, This is a decent. I'm gonna give this three stars. This is a decent white vanilla spirit, honestly. Scotty, we've been looking for Scotty. Uh, this card is super interesting. If you control a spirit with a soul core on it, your bone can only select a spirit with soul core on it when using effect to select one of your spirits. So that's an interesting ability. It has armor white, so you can't dream bomber. And then return all of your opponent's exhausted spirits to their hand at the start of the opponent's end step. So if they swing, 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 she's at level three, 12k for five cores. I like her. I really do like her. She's going to find a place, I think. Is she super, super good? 
I don't know yet. I'm gonna give her four stars. I could be wrong here. Somebody, some of you might be shaking your head, but I'm gonna give her four stars. Her, her text is really cool. I like how she works. We have Lightning Lazuli. Uh, 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 that's all I have to say. Angela Fish, uh, you're not playing this. Uh, Brita Blick. Uh, please appear from the core. It's an Armored Dragon. Uh, why would you want to bot deck a Nexus to draw a card? It, you're not... Uh, two stars? One and a half? St one star. One star. Ice Aegis General... It's worse Enterprise for Imperator and one star. It's not good, man. It's not good. I mean, I guess if you're playing Rainbow Aegis General, but uh, one star. Oh, and we're unlucky. OK, so that's it for the spirit. So let's move on to Nexus. We have the Diamond Sanctuary. This is a decent, I mean, two cores. It can't be it can't be destroyed by your opponent's max. And it can't be bounced by your opponent's magic cards. It's I mean, for sanctuaries, it's good. Three stars, three and a half stars, four stars. Who knows? It's decent. Will you play it in white? Probably. Uh, you could probably you'll probably play it in white. You've got white's got what white's only good nexus right now. Maybe four Cecilia's, but Newman City. So playing this alongside Newman City for the reduction is pretty good. Uh, three and a half stars. Brizengamen Necklace. Um, your opponent's never going to destroy this. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's not good. One star. So that's Nexus's. Why, uh, Diamond Sanctuary is good. Let's move on to Magics. You have Dimensional Rift. This card has had some discourse about it. You can summon a White Spirit card with when it blocks from your hand without paying its cost. When summon effects are not triggered, it'll cost three to call something out. What cards have win blocks? We've got uh, Dragon Ship Enterprise. We have Buffalo Bill. We have Elk. What other relevant spirits have win the spirit blocks? I'm not sure. But most of those you can get out for three, maybe four cores anyway with one Newman City. I don't think this card's going to be great right now. It might be a lot better later when we have better win block spirits that cost more. For now, I'm going to give it two stars. Three, I'll give it three stars. It's the middle of the pack. No, two stars, two stars, two stars. It's not great right now. Eternal Shield. It says uh, flash time against blue. You can only mill one card, but I don't play this card. Probably it's you. You can put better cards in your deck than this card. One star. Provocation. Um, return to your opponent's hand if it's still refreshed. So it forces an attack on your opponent's spirit or they bounce it, but we have Avalanche that people said, some people said might replace Dream Bomb and it hasn't. We also have Dream Bomb. We have a bunch of other bounce effects. I don't know, three stars? Somebody might find use for it. It's, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's it for white though. Let's move on to the next color, which is yellow. We're going to start off with the Empress Guardian Red Queen when summon reduce something by 2000 and then level two and three when one of your other land spirits is summoned, exhaust a Topaz Sanctuary to activate its wind summon effects a second time. This makes things look really cool, especially with King Charles plays. Um, Lumiere plays giving things blessed. Uh, anything that comes into play that is not an other lander because King Charles makes it an other lander could be interesting the only problem is this is an other lander card it doesn't have a super great stat line and other lander still this is not the card other lander needed to be i mean it other lander needed a card like this but it needed more than what it got so this card itself is good but i can't give it more than three stars because other lander is not good humpty dumpty is an interesting card it draws you a card when it's destroyed, and you can add a card to your hand if it costs the same. Very cool card. I like it. I'm going to give it three stars. It's nothing crazy, but I mean, a decent stat line. Yeah, yeah, I like it. We got a new Pintan, and look how angry he is. Uh, when summoned, put a other lander on top of your deck. Will it see play? I mean, it comes out for free. 4K for three cores. It's okay, three stars. I, I'm probably going to give most of the other lander stuff three stars. The Cheshire Cat, 
I mean, it's like regular Pintan, but it's a wind summoned effect. I don't think this card is very good and it doesn't have a good stat line. I'm going to give this a two star. Plus, it's a wind summoned. Card Griffin, it's a decent sad vanilla and it costs one. It's an Otherlander and a Fabled Beast. I'm going to give this card three stars as a vanilla. It's, it's decent. I mean, I like the card. Impulsive Pilgrim, this is probably the best Pilgrim out of all of them. It does get blessed. I'm going to give this one three stars. This is the best Pilgrim. Genbu is a great card. I've fought against Genbu Fable Beasts, and it can be pretty scary making a Fable Beast Spirit unblockable. Like, hey, this Dual Eagle is unblockable. It's swinging with Blessed. And then you're also going to have to be guarding against the rest of their stuff. And if you kill their stuff, they just refresh the unblockable Dual Eagle. This is a really good card. It doesn't make Fabled Beast viable. We have to test some more, but this is what Fabled Beast needed. I'm going to give it four, four and a half stars. This is a really good card. Uh, you, you're not going to play this. You've got Card Griffin. Flagellum. This is an excellent card. I really like this card. It has Luster and it, it makes your Exhaust Nexus 5Ks. I know Luster is still kind of a meme, but honestly, this card is what the archetype needed. And if you're going for a high end Luster, like kill them with Luster and use the lower end for a more sustained package. This card is really, really good. Flagellum is a five star card. I wish it had three reduction, but. Rapier Angel, it's decent, I guess. Uh, it costs one. It's not isn't great. You have to pay two cores to give it luster. Uh, two stars. It's, I mean, yeah, it's, it's not great. It's okay, but not great. Dagger Angel, vanilla. Gillouette, uh, reduce something like three, three K when it's destroyed. It's a bird folk. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know if bird folk is still good enough. Like bird folk has no cohesion, it has no real cohesion. This card's got a good stat line. It's got decent reduction. It's when it attacks ability is cool but like i don't know uh two stars card itself maybe three stars but bird folk is not a great archetype we have mary flam a uh, scry one and draw i mean decent when destroyed scry one draw but i mean whatever you can do plenty better stuff two stars uh vanilla uh vanilla vanilla uh, good boy, five stars, five stars, good boy, five stars, great boy, five stars. I guess you could play this, give something Void Lord, and then play the purple Aegis General to destroy it. That's a really cool combo you could do. Uh, I mean, for him being such a great boy, he's five stars, but the card, uh, two, two and a half. And that's it for spirits. So let's move on to Nexus. You have the Topaz Sanctuary. It's pretty, I mean, what it does isn't great, but it's reduction, three stars. Radiant Pyramid Triad, uh, Scry 1, and then when, Scry 1 when placed, and draw a card when you're playing against purple. It's okay, but are you going to play this over Phantasmal Paradise? Are you going to play this over Blessed Cathedral? Are you going to play this over Topaz Sanctuary? No. Two stars. So let's move on to the magics. This continue. It says when your opponent's blue, add it to your hand. Uh, you're not going to play this one star. Magical light. Add a magic card on the top four. Discard the rest. We have Michaela. One star. Rapid rule. During the turn, all your spirits that cost two or fewer cannot be blocked by your opponent's spirits that cost five or more. We have behemoth we have ginbu we have uh lien one star none of the new yellow cards i think are great don't play them at me let's move on to the next color green forest guardian al ron when summon ramp on it for each emerald sanctuary nexuses so you ramp one for it and ramp one onto all of your emerald sanctuary nexuses pretty decent effect and then when attacks are blocked, exhaust two that cost three or less or one that costs six or less. Decent stat line, five for three. I like this card, four stars. 
Tempting Etrium has Gale and it refreshes when you swift in something and pay the soul core. The problem is I don't think it finds spot in the Gale list because we have Toki 5, we have Shot Jaeger, yada yada. We'll get to those later. For what it's worth, it's a decent card. I'm going to give it three stars. Maple Elm, uh, ramp a Gale when destroyed, but we have much better ways to ramp. Worker Ant-Man is, is a three cost card in green, so one star. This card sucks. Vanilla, but it costs two and it has a good stat line. Three stars? Are you going to play it? Who knows, but it's decent. It's a, it's a decently sad vanilla. Bang Wong. This is a five star card. This is a six star card. This is if you watched the uh, the Blue Mill video, you heard my rant about Fang Wong. This card is absolutely cracked. Gale three at level two, when a Void Lord Spirit attack reduces your opponent's life, bounce an opponent's exhausted spirit and refresh this spirit. And that's any of your Void Lord spirits, by the way. And then level three, it deals two damage. This card is absolutely bonkers it comes out you have a hurricane highlands out it literally has four cores on it immediately this is what the void lords from set two should have been why did we not get effects like this from the set two void lords set two would have been so much better even if just the void lords were as strong as this card five star card such a good card swamurai this is a four star card in gale this is a really good card it's cheap it comes out it's a swift unit it there to block it's there to extend four stars it would be five stars if it was one with one reduction but i understand why it's not it's a swift you got to pay something for it totem owl this is a decent gale card i wish either it had more reduction or it had a better stat line with having gale one like maybe 4k for for two cores i would like but it being able to just die to burning force kind of sucks it being able to die to any 3k bp removal kind of sucks but it's a decent card for Gale. I personally don't run it in my Gale build, but some people do. I'm going to give it three stars. It's middle of the pack. Nothing nothing spectacular. Fishamo, vanilla out of 10. Why are you going to play this? Shatten Jaeger. This is another five star card. Green's getting the five star card. Shatten Jaeger is so good. Gale two, it costs three. It's got a good stat line. If you let anything that has Gale other than Jaeger deal damage to your opponent it refreshes and then at level three refresh it when your opponent draws a card using their effects this is this card puts on so much pressure five stars archduke king taurus ah uh, i like him but i don't like his effect i mean you ramp three one on him and one on two other things and then it summons a token but it's nine cores for 12k. He's not great. I wish he was better. Two stars. When Tiger Tigard, he's got Flash and Gale in an okay stat line. He costs three. He's a little expensive for a Swift. I'm sorry. I said I meant Flash Swift. It's a Swift card with Gale. I wish he he's a little expensive for something with Swift. You don't really want to be paying three out of your reserve to Swift him out. But he's okay. Like he's decent. Yeah, three stars. Spear Mink, uh, vanilla. I mean, two cores for 4K is decent, but vanilla. Wing Jewel Bug, what is that, Sigma? Um, like, this is quote-unquote Gale without being Gale as a Carapite. It's a decent spirit, like, but would you pair this with Gale? You wouldn't. So why would you play this? On his own, decent, I guess. I'll give him two and a half stars, but you, 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 you're not going to play this card. Ant Pilgrim, uh, it has Gale 1 for 5 core, 2 stars, it's not good. Uh, vanilla, but it costs 1, 7k for 3, I mean, decent for Carapite, like, he's a decent card, yeah, I'm gonna give it, I'll give it 3 stars. Sheep Fly, uh, it costs 0, it's uh, vanilla. Pokey 5, 5 star card. I know, I know guys, you gave green 3 5 star cards, yes, because they're that good. These cards, this card's so good. You pay a soul core at the end of your opponent's end step to get it back to your hand from the trash if you have fewer cards in your hand than your opponent. And it has Gale 2. Like, it's a five star, four and a half stars. Fine, fine, four and a half stars. No, this is a five star card. This, Shatnyager, and Feng Wong, incredibly powerful cards. Very good card.
That's going to be the spirits. So let's move on to the Nexus. Emerald Sanctuary. It's actual, it's level two ability is actually really good. When you exhaust something with one of your effects, select a spirit gains 2000 BP so you can swing over stuff. This is a four star Nexus. It's honestly, I think this is the best sanctuary. If I'm, if you're asking me, this is the best sanctuary. It's very useful. You're going to, you're going to find really good use cases out of it when you're, because you're green, you're exhausting everything. This is a four star Nexus. Hurricane Highlands is a five star Nexus. Wow, another five star card in green. Jacob, are you a green player? I might be now. During your main step, when a Gale unit summoned, ramp is mini cores onto it as it has Gale. So if it's Gale two, ramp two. If you got two Highlands out, ramp four. And then when one of your, during opponent's attack step, mind you, when one of your spirits with Gale destroys one of your opponent's spirits via comparing BP, your opponent selects one of their refreshed spirits and exhausts it. So you kill one of their spirits with one of your spirits with Gale, exhaust something else, and then your Emerald Sanctuary procs and gives another one of your spirits more BP. Such a... Five stars. Five stars. At the gate. Five stars. Let's move on to Magic. Plane Trap. I like this card, but I can't find room for it. First Wind Summoned, Thorn Prison. Pretty dang good if your opponent's playing Wind Summoned. And then Main Flash, select a spirit that costs five or more. Refresher if it's green. Exhaust if it's not, so we have a regain for green and more exhaust so you can exhaust three. But I think this is going to be really good in non Gale decks because Gale's already adding super, super strong pressure and they're running like three or they're running about three Thorn Prison to continue exhausting things plus Hurricane Highlands. So I don't think this will be in Gale, but I do think this will be a good card in non Gale archetypes. I'm going to give it three and a half stars. Whirlwind. And why are you playing this one star? Forest Charge, uh, Blade Beast, refresh it during this battle, Flash one. I mean, is the, I don't know. Are you going to play this? Like, are you going to, Thorn Prison exists. Why are you going to play? I don't know. Uh, two stars. That's green. Two stars. Let's move on to blue. So for blue, we're starting with Truth God Mandala. This is a five star card. Um, he can mill up to 12 on summon and another six. He he ends games. He absolutely ends games. He's got four reduction. He's got a decent stat line, four cores. I understand why they made him 9K and not 10K. He he is the finisher. He is Mill's finisher. He is big boy. This is a five star card. Weapon Collector Godfrey. Uh, loot by discarding a nexus and refresh it but it's core cat two stars that's not great randolph is actually a decent card crush plus one plus when it attacks destroy a spirit that costs three or fewer for every level the spirit has so if it's level two it destroys two three or fewer if it's level three it destroys three for three spirits three three or fewer i can't talk it's decent in testing it's shown that it can be either really good or not so good so i'm gonna give him Three stars. His Chris plus one is good, but he's core greedy. So three stars. Warhammer Gordon. This is a really good card. He stacks the opponent. Uh, stacks means if, yeah, if your opponent's at cost three, if you cannot attack unless they pay one core, that's stacks. Um, and Chris plus one for a four, two reduction, four cores for 7k. This is a four star card. He's really good. Oswald, he has crush. He costs one. Two, one reduction, an okay stat line. He's a three star card. He's okay. Giant platoon, four star cards. Uh, one, it costs one, 7k for four with crush. It's a just decent, just good card. Four stars. Coliseum Golem. I wish this card was better. It costs too much. We don't have enough reduction in blue. Currently, there's no blue elemental or anything like that. And it's so greedy. This card is so greedy. When it works, it works. When it doesn't, it doesn't. Unfortunately, this is currently a two star card. Dragolum, crush plus one. And then it's level two and level three ability is decent. It's stat line kind of sucks for its cores. We've honestly been cutting Dragolum from our mill lists. So for that, I'm only going to give it three stars. I'm sure you can find ways to utilize and abuse Dragolum, but we've personally been cutting it from our list because, of course, you can mill even more. But if 
you're playing correctly with Mandala, you don't need to mill them that much off of Drag Golem. I'll give it two and a half stars. It's not as good as we initially thought. Rock Golem, you're... It's okay. We don't... There's no space for it. There's really no space for it. Uh, I'll give it two and a half stars. Block Golem, four star card. Really good. It has crush. It has a decent stat line. It has good reduction. And if you're a Nexus has a soul core on it, it's suppression for five cost and fewer. With Whirlpool straight and a couple thing in a couple other Nexus, you can make this thing 12k, 14k, and just block for days. This is a four star card. Really good. Iron Golem, uh, one star. Mermaid Princess Lyrica. It seems good on paper. You can summon a Nexus without paying its cost. When it's summoned, then you can exhaust two Nexuses. They, the Nexuses are treated as their highest level during either attack step. It does not have a great stat line. It does have decent reduction. All in all, we're trying to find a place for it, but we end up cutting it more often than not. Three stars. Allegro. I really like the way Allegro works. You can destroy the opponent's most costly spirit, and but you're not going to get six cores for 10k. You're probably not going to put six cores on it. It's decent. I'm going to give it three three stars. Subido, the four drop slot is too tight for Subido to work. I wish it was better. It does exhaust your Nexus to give you those exhausted Nexus procs like with Rammer Golem and stuff like that, but there's just no space for Subido. I'm going to give it two. It's a two and a half star card, but you're probably not going to play it. Golem Constructor, she's a mommy, so she's five stars, but her ability is not that great. You do not want to be destroying your own nexuses. Unfortunately, I'm going to give her two stars. But mommy, I mean, come on. Deep Sea Fanatic, this card would be amazing if it put the nexus card into your hand, but it only puts it on top of your deck. So for that, I'm going to dock a point. It's only two. Actually, it's only one star because it doesn't. It's not great. It's really not great. And its stat line is horrible. One star. Cthulhu Shark. This is a four-star card. You destroy everything by destroying one of your... See, this is a reason to destroy one of your blue nexuses. This is an oh shit board wipe. So this is a four-star card. It is definitely a sideboard card, but for blue, it's a really good sideboard card. Current Marin, you have better things to do with your cores. Two stars. Uh, Vanilla, I mean, I understand it can be a 10k, but you don't run this. Uh, Vanilla, uh, Vanilla... Uh, vanilla monkey monkey man interesting for more of a like blue control style but again he ends up getting cut more often than not or only ran it too but his 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 effects are pretty cool i'll give him three and a half stars vanilla vanilla mio nirvana crush plus two plus raid one i like him i really do like him mandala does his effect but better if he had one more reduction i think he'd be much better than he is but mandala does his effect does what he does but better i can't give him i'll give him three and a half stars you can use him in conjunction with mandala but you just swap out nirvana with mandala like the raid is is nice to attack crush them for four cards or five cards and untap it to be able to block the next turn but like i don't know and then we have Island Baron Francis. I do believe we are in, yes, we're in start deck territory. Uh, you're not playing this card, one star. Uh, Rudra, you're not playing this card, one star. Jason, you're not, the core investment is too high, one star. Fort Golem, interesting, I like this. It's two stars, you're probably still not playing it. Bronze Golem, uh, you're not playing it, two stars. Uh, Mithril Golem, he looks like Alphonse, don't at me, uh, five stars, just kidding. Rammer Golem, I like this card. Exhausted Blue Nexus, kill a four drop or less, but it requires four cores. Its stat line isn't the great. I mean, I guess it's okay for, for a two drop. I'll give it three stars. Like, if you play it, I'm not going to fault you for it. Mantagore, Vanilla. Uh, Vanilla. Full Top Dog, best boy. This is a good card, actually. We didn't think so, but like... If you're crushing your opponent, you're ramping with Bulltop Dog. You have two or three Bulltop Dogs out on the field and you're just ramping, ramping, ramping with the crush effects. He's good. I'm going to give him three and a half stars. The only thing is he does not get out of Burning Force range. So, but three and a half stars. He's a good card. Zayon, you're not playing this card. Why? Why? Ugh, you're not playing this card. Let's move on to Nexus. 
Whirlpool Strike. This is a good nexus. Uh, burst, destroy a spirit, place it without paying its cost, and then giving something 2,000 BP for each nexus you control during your opponent's attack step can just say, hey, this block golem's, like I said, 12, 14k. It's going to block all of your weenies. It's a really good nexus. I give this uh, maybe not four stars. No, yeah, I'll give this a four star. This is a four star nexus. It's really good. Seabed Lighthouse. It basically tells your opponent you cannot flash magics that you don't already have a con color on the board for so it can stop them from flashing a dream bomb a ice shield from hand a thorn prison if they don't have green in our testing it hasn't come up that much but it's it's a really good card it's also really good for non-blue decks to side this is a four star nexus maybe five maybe five stars you can definitely play around it you're i mean your opponent's going to want to burning force this or or Ferraro slash this in the main step. So I, I might give it five stars, honestly. This is a really good Nexus. Enchained Arena, they're never going to destroy it because you're going to ramp from it. They might. And then it stacks for five or fewer. This is really good. This is a four star. Four star Nexus. Aquapolis, I'm going to give it three stars because like, uh, yeah, you can, you can ditch three off the top of their deck, but you typically don't need to be running this like all you need is two mandalas at full effect and a couple crushes or your opponent just drawing through their deck or even one mandala in a couple rounds of crushes to kill your opponent by deck out and this just really doesn't do it i do like its level one effect so it may be 3.5 stars but it's probably the weaker of the blue nexuses ancient coliseum give crush spirits a thousand kbp discard when they do a win summoned uh, I don't know. I'm not too I'm not too fond of this one, but it's three stars. It's not bad. Honorable Duel uh, destroys via comparing BP, mill three, and then refresh Golem or War Gods during your instep. This is a decent Nexus. I'm gonna give it three stars. It's nothing crazy, but it's a three stars. If you run it, I mean, if you run any of these blue Nexuses, I'm not gonna fault you, but it's it's definitely not one of the better blue Nexuses, but it's good. It's good. Let's move on to blue magic. We got strong draw. What can I say? It's graceful charity. In blue, this is a five star card. You pay one, you draw three, you ditch two. It's great. Outside of blue, this card is cope. Don't play this card outside of blue. You're paying three for this is not good enough. Just play star blessed draw. Rant over. In blue, this is a really good card. Five star magic. Break burst. I mean, kill something that costs three if you're your hippocampo dead. Your Costume Artist, dead. Your Bearded Eagle, dead. Your Worker Ant-Man, dead. It's a good card. I'll, it's not crazy, but it's a good card. Uh, Three stars. Magic Wrench, you can mill your opponent and place a two star. That's not great. Muscle Charge, everybody's going to be playing one of these in their side for the memes. Ha ha ha. It's not good. Bloodstream, the... Five stars, bro. Everybody's changing their deck because of this card. Like, you're seeing zero, three, plus. Like, they're playing, if they play elementals, they're playing some elementals, and then they go three plus, so they don't get three for one to buy Floodstream. This is an excellent magic card, In this card itself is changing the way people play and build their decks. Five stars. Blitz. It, it mills for five. I, I you have better. You have you're running like twelve nexus. You don't have room for this. Bless cores. You don't have room for this. You're not playing this. One star and uh, blitz is one star. That's everything from the main set. Let's get to the promos. So, all right. So for the promos, we got Sword Dragon Emperor X Calibus. I love its name. It's got a sword on its head. If two or more of your opponent's spirits have been destroyed this turn, treat the spirit list level three and at level three. Select one of your opponent's spirits with 4,000 fewer BP or one of their nexuses and destroy it. You're probably destroying a nexus with it. Ancient Dragon, it's cool. Is it worth it? I don't know. You have to kill two spirits to make it level three or throw seven cores on it. You're not going to have seven cores to throw on it. Two stars, it's too gimmicky. Too, we don't like gimmick stuff. It's too gimmicky. Next one is... Sungari it has Awaken. It's a 2-1 reduction and then gains 2,000 BP for each of your spirits with only one core on it. Uh, you're not going to play this. One star. Corpse Knight Velium. This card's interesting. When a spirit is summoned from your trash, select one of your opponent's exhausted spirits and destroy it at any point. So Gravedigger Skeleton works with this. Reanimate works with this. 
Um, Nocturna works with this. There are a lot of interesting ways. Plus, Beldegor Immortal works with this. This is an interesting card. I like it. It that line isn't great. Its reduction isn't great, but it's definitely interesting. I'll give it three stars. Third Ice Snake. We don't need this card when your opponent plays a core with one of their effects from the void onto one of their spirits or into their reserve. Draw a card. You don't. Purple doesn't need more draw and a draw on a bad body. You, it's not good. Don't play this. One star. Macaroni Pintan. We got another Pintan and look got that flower look at how suave when destroyed by opponent you need three cores on it return it from your trash to your hand you can loop your blessed cathedral loop your blessed cathedral loop your blessed cathedral it's good in maybe other colors for just having an infinite blocker i like it i'll give it four stars i could be wrong here but i really like it on first glance four stars great eagle theazi Reduce something by 2k when summoned. Bird folk stuff. It's bird folk. It's a fable beast that does bird folks to one star. It's bird folk is a meme. Pink mobile Hetzer. Three cost, two reduction. Refresh all of your spirits with no effects listed during your instep. This is white aggro support. If I've ever seen it, this card is amazing for white aggro. Five stars. Divine War Gear Mega Tier. When one of your opponent's spirits is returned to their hand, you may pay a soul core to refresh the spirit. You want that soul core for suppression. No, thank you. You want that soul core for Scotty. No, thank you. Two stars. I'm not even reading the rest of it. Ghost Mantis. During your attack step, when your bugs are destroyed, ramp a core. And then when it's destroyed, refresh all your insectoid, carapite, and great beetle spirits. This is what the insectoid package needs. To be relevant, I think this is a really good promo. Will it make Insectoid, will it make Bugs better than Gale? I don't think so, but this is a four-star card. I really like this card. We have Air Commodore Dragon. It has Gale, one, and then when one of your opponent's spirits is exhausted by a Gale effect, select one of your opponent's spirits and exhausted. So it's Gale, one, but kind of Gale, two, but it Gales your opponent for all of your Gales. It costs four cores for 6k one core for 3k so it's basically it's as a wolf but better but costs one more core i really like this this may replace as a wolf or in gale or go alongside as a wolf in gale i'll give it four stars gladbol gladbolg is a golem for blue four cost one reduction not great stat line not great uh, it's okay uh exhaust and excess play a course to place a core from the void onto the nexus you exhausted. I don't know about that. When you destroy one of your opponent's spirits, you compare BP, select one of your nexuses, and refresh it. If you're going for the golem style, exhaust your nexus style, do things when you exhaust your nexus style, this is decent, but overall, I'm not too happy about it. I'll give it three stars. It's middle of the pack. Explosive Giant Douglas, six cost, three reduction, crush plus one, and level two or three, when you crush a magic card, loot one, draw a discard. Blue desperately needs draw. This is a very good card for blue as a promo. I'll give it four stars. And that's it. That's all the cards from set three from the start deck and the promos rated out of five stars. Holy crap, this video is way too long. I'm going to have to cut it down. Tell me what you think. Am I off my rocker? Am I an absolute buffoon or do you agree with me? Leave a comment down below and let's discuss it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.